The reason the 1115 waiver project was so crucial to the health department was that before we didn't have a lot of support in making this move and expanding our primary care capacity. But through the 1115 waiver project, it allowed us to broaden our partnerships. And we had a lot of wonderful community people come forward and want to support this effort. I kind of like to think of the Paris Lamar County Health Department as the Cinderella story for the 1115 waiver project. Lamar County is in the northeast corner of Texas and um, it's a wonderful population but we have challenges just like anybody else would have challenges. We have a high population of underinsured, uninsured, a lot of people on food stamps, a lot of people seeking assistance. It's approximately 40,000 individuals that live in Lamar County. Um, transportation is always an issue. Uh, there's just a lot of um, barriers to access to care here in Lamar County. 95 to 98 percent of our clients are either underinsured or have no insurance at all. So the 1115 waiver has just allowed us to move into this beautiful facility and offer high quality, low cost, affordable health care to these people that didn't have an option before. What this has done is it's brought the community awareness that we are a primary health care facility and we do offer primary health care services to people in Lamar County that couldn't get it anywhere else. Um, I can remember when I first came to take the job, I kept circling the building thinking this couldn't possibly be the health department. Um, this is a house, a pretty worn down house, and I did actually realize that this was the place that people had been seeking health care since 1944. I walked into the facility and with floors breaking underneath and ceiling tiles falling down, you could see a waiting room full of people that it actually broke my heart because, you know, a lot of these people are very, um, down on their luck and in hard times in their life, and this is the place where they had to seek health care. When I was medical director, when we were at the other facility, we had a much smaller space, it was a much older space. When patients saw it, I think they were nervous about coming in, so even though we were trying to promote that we were there for primary care, as well as immunizations and the things that people think of the health department being there for, they were nervous about coming to the facility. They didn't really, people associate, I think, the look of the facility with the quality that's inside. They were, as I say, they were normal rooms, but the doors were plastic sheets. So if I want to speak to the doctor about something important, it makes me uncomfortable to speak out loud, because maybe the person next to us could hear. But this is the thing about this place because you felt more uncomfortable because of the space. Most of these patients, I guess the overwhelming thing is most of them are uninsured and needing to catch up on their preventive care as well as they usually come here with an acute care need that we need to care for as well as what drives them into the clinic. But then we find other things to help them stay well. Preventive care is one of our biggest missions here. We partnered with um, Indigent Healthcare and we said, hey, now that we have this facility, now that we have the space and we have the clinicians and we have the capacity to help you, why don't you send those clients to us and let us assess them? And if we can actually help them in a primary care capacity, let us do that here. If they need referrals, we'll send them out. And so the neat thing about that partnership that the 1115 waiver has allowed us to do is we have saved so many dollars, so many taxpayer dollars, because that money has stretched. There was a time in the last year or two that it only made it about six months, the funding, and now they've gone to a full fiscal year this year of being able to stretch those dollars out and offer health care to those people when they ran out of money before. I don't know if this building has changed how we educate people about preventive care necessarily, but certainly at that first visit, when it feels more like a real clinic to them, we can say, you know, I know you're here because your feet are burning today and you want something done about that. That's linked back to your diabetes, and so we need to have have a regular relationship where you come here and we're checking your labs and we're making sure you're taking your medicine, make sure we can help you keep getting your medicines, whether it's patient assistance programs, whether it's grants. Um, but we're here for you and we are a real clinic. We're not just a STD clinic or a vaccination clinic. We're a primary care clinic and we can work with you over time. A lot of times before, they would seek the emergency room for their primary health care because they just didn't have any options. So now that we are an option, they come here. Um, anything acute and we treat the acute issue, and then if they have a chronic issue, we also uh, address that issue. And it's reduced the amount of visits to the emergency room since we've been able to extend our capacity and address these issues with these clients. What I would say to those who fund this facility is, first of all, thank you. And we do try to make every penny go as far as it can so we can take care of more patients. Um, 
The funds are being used to keep people out of the emergency room, to um, provide comprehensive care and provide preventive care to keep people from being sick. Also, I think that the funds go further than they are even intended because of the integrative nature of this facility and the fact that all these other institutions that are funded throughout the town and community actually work very closely with us. So we're able to access those and not overlap for our patients to continue to provide um, all of the resources they need, which again, keep them out of the emergency room, keep them well. I just want to say thank you to all the people that contributed with a little or much so that this facility functions. And thank you for making such a big effort so that people like us who don't have a lot of money, we can visit a doctor regularly so that we can be healthy. Thank you. We've been growing so rapidly that we are having to book three or four months in advance. So we know that with continued funding, we can even grow beyond this, expand further to meet the public health care needs of the Lamar County.